Welcome children once again to this place of learning. Hope by God's grace all of you are keeping fine. At the outset of this session, let us invoke the Holy Spirit to guide us through this event. We pray. God, our ever loving Father, the mission you have entrusted to us through your Son Jesus can never be done only on your own, on our own effort. Strengthen us in the hour of depression. We beseech you to be with us through your Son, Jesus, and with the Holy Spirit to accomplish everything for your greater glory. Amen. All who are present there in this session, a very big hi to all. Don't you think around you is so beautiful? Hope all of you are keeping fine. Do you remember what we had done in the previous session? Can anyone remember? If we recall them, how Mother Mary is an example who listened and did the will of God and gave us example to continue in this mission. We find the life of saints were also a complete submission to the gospel that gave us the reason for our strong faith. As we continue this chapter of people who listened and lived by the word of God, we will notice that there were many more people who have gone before us giving us good examples. Let us see the content for the day to move on with this session. People who listen to the word of God, in that we have find we have pastors, we have the religious, we have lay missionaries, and even charitable workers. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Now, how did these pastors become a kind of an example for a living word of God? They were appointed to look after the flock, pastor care, bishops, priests, and religious are all appointed to shepherd the people of God, the flock. Second Vatican Council reminds the responsibility of priests on understanding and living and teaching the word of God before they administer the word of God to the people. St. Paul writes in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 13, Until I arrive, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. St. John Maria Vianney is an example of pastoring by crowning glory of priesthood through fidelity. A beautiful example for all priests and the bishops who are appointed to look after the faithful. And we find the religious group of people who are also who have listened to the word of God and have dedicated their life completely for the work in God's vineyard. And they are followed by the evangelical councils on which the religious take a vow on chastity, poverty, obedience. Now, what are these three vows there? Chastity, poverty, obedience. Chastity is a virtue, a defined as refraining from unreasonable sexual conduct or romantic relationships and the responsibility of family life. Poverty. Give up earthly possessions to follow Christ and to have possessions acquired and held in heaven. 
obedience, the third vow of the religious. Obedience is a virtue because it calls on them to obey their superiors, even when they think they are correct or they know better than the superiors. The fundamental principle of religious life is nothing other than to the imitation of Jesus. They are called to follow or imitate Jesus. And we know the example that Jesus has laid down in his life through a life of poverty, chastity, and obedience to his father. St. Paul II says in Vita Kronsakrata, on religious life, bear witness, living witness to Christ, who is chaste, pure, and obedient unto death. And there are also lay missionaries who have dedicated their life to continue in the proclamation of the gospel in the vineyard of Christ. We find the laymen, they have the same duty and the right or the mission that originates from the same union with Christ in baptism. Just like we have received baptism, by our baptism, by default, we have all become members of the church and we have this mission that is continuing. We have this lay missionaries. We are all part of lay missionaries. And we continue the same mission. It is from there that these lay missionaries get their right to be a missionary. Because that is the duty task given to us. If we see from the beginning of class 10 book, we will find that this mission is continuing from father to the son to the apostles, then the early Christians and then further moving on to be baptized Christians. Now what is this relationship that we have with Jesus, with Christ? A union with Christ is through baptism by the mere fact that we are baptized in our faith, we are we are united with Christ. When we are united with Christ, the mission is automatically being handed down to us. The laymen are called to live a life as per the gospel. There is no exception. Examples of lay saints we have. Saint Monica, Blessed Frederick Osnam, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, Mama Margaret is the mother of Don Bosco, Saint Bianna Beretta Gianna Mola, and number of other saints who have shown us examples and gone before us to give us a occasion to follow them, to imitate them, keep them as a role, mo role model to be in the service of God. There can also be charitable workers who can continue this mission of living the word of God. It is love that prompted God the father to send his only son, the word itself to the world. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, it is love that prompted, nothing else. Because he loved the world, he loved his people and so he wanted to do something for his people. So he sent his son who could go in directly deal with the people and do something for his glory. In Matthew chapter 25 verse 31 to 36, with a summary of it says, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was in prison, you visited me. I was sick, you looked after me. And so, a kind of, you know, charitable workers who are dealing with, it's so beautiful in this, in the present scenario. In this COVID-19 pandemic, it is a beautiful occasion for the charitable workers as we venture out into among the people to do this charitable work, what God is beautifully telling through Matthew's gospel. Give to people who have nothing to eat. Give drink to people who have nothing to drink. Food. So without action, faith without action. James chapter 2 verse 14 to 17. The summary says, faith without action is dead. I say I have faith, I go to church to pray. You go to church to pray, but you come outside and it goes out without any concrete example through your life and then it becomes useless. Faith without doing something concrete to the pe people outside near you is useless. 
If you read Bible, you should meditate. If you meditate, you will be cleansed. And if you practice the word of God, you will be holy. The word of God purifies us. Take time to read the gospel, to read the Bible. And so the words that are there, make it our own, to make it applicable to us in our own life. Jesus said to his disciples, you have already been cleansed by the words I have spoken to you. John chapter 15, verse 3. So charitable workers, through their actions, through their charitable deeds, we'll come across this one in the later chapters, of how the church becomes charitable workers. And so how we, baptized members, can become charitable workers and continue taking this word of God to the people around us. Among the people who lived according to the word of God, let's recapitulate what we have uh, done so far in this session. Pastors, bishops, etc., through their examples and their knowledge of the gospel, takes care of their flock. The religious who followed the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience imitated Jesus in their selfless work among the people for their welfare. By default of baptism, every member of the church is supposed to be a missionary and witness to Christ, be it a charity worker, health worker, etc. The best way to proclaim one's faith is one's own life life witness so that the others can follow. Let us take home the words from Luke chapter 8 verse 21. But he said to them, my mother, my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. Take some activity that can make it a kind of a, a reality check in your life. In this pandemic of COVID-19, mention a charity activity that you, your family, or the society, your parish did for others as a relief in their difficulties and problems. So many opportunities are there. Something that you have done. Write a report about it. Use pictures of the activity in a collage form and keep it for your teachers to uh, notice it in your work. The word of God listened must be lived in life, become witness to others. And saints, apostles, pastors, religious, and all did the same to bear witness to God. Let us pray. Jesus, our Lord and Master, Guide us to live by the values that we have acquired from the gospel. Let the saints, apostles, pastors and religious who have gone before us and those who are living encourage our steps in the light of the word of God to live as a witness to the others who have not known you yet. Amen. Thank you. God bless us all. Stay home. Stay safe.